Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews presents 10 Fighty Oscar Blues 10 Fighty 10.5 percent alcohol 2021 edition. They're saying on the website it's ultra viscous, but our complaint was two years ago that it was a bit thin in the body, like a porter. So I don't know what was going on there, but I bought this can at Total Wine and More, I believe it was. Yes. Wasn't exactly cheap, but it wasn't too expensive. This is brewed in America, in Colorado, North Carolina, and Texas. The West and the East. Um, canned on September 17th of 2021. And then there's a little snarky statement. I need about 10.5. Oh, well, you know, the beer. Craft beer culture, then. All right, anyway, uh, it's a cold day, but it's very sunny, a little too breezy. I was sitting out over there, but it, it was catching the wind too much, so I had to go over here where the wind would be blocked to an extent. All right, I've been sitting on this can for months. Just, uh, well, I wasn't in a rush, because at 10.5, 10 fidey, or as some people say 10 fitty, it's not going to go off too quickly, is it? No. An Imperial Stout, one of the famous Imperial Stouts. We used to get a lot of Oscar Blues all around southeastern Louisiana in this town. Now, more than likely, you're not going to see it. I don't know what happened, but the last three years, I don't really see too much Oscar Blues. Dornax will sell variety packs. A couple of other stores will sell this and that. But um, for the most part, it's kind of like gone. So I don't know what's happening, but something's happening or has happened. Thin beige head, very dark brown appearance. Let's see if I can catch some brown with the extreme sunlight. Yeah, on the very edge, I can catch brown, but it's so dark, that's barely perceivable. I'm going to put a review on Untap. I've writ written reviews for this over the years on Beer Advocate and Rape Beer, but um, not on Untap. Very dark roasted barley malt, but not burnt. Some companies can't pull that off. They can get it really dark and then they burn it. There's some cream and coffee, a little cocoa, yeah. Dark cherry? Uh -huh. Yes, perhaps. Taste. Cheers. Thanks for watching this video production. It's rich. There's raisin for sure, dark raisins. body does seem to have more viscousness than two yards ago, three yards ago. I don't know what was going on there. It was either it was in our mind, and we were thinking all these stouts had turned thin. We were calling this thin fighting, thin fitty, but, uh, but a lot of people were commenting on that. And I don't think it was like group think. I just think people were noticing it. Huh? Nice lacing. Now I could say, oh yeah, they watched all our reviews and they, they adjusted the problem. I could be um, entertaining flights of fancy, you know, thinking, oh yes, they're watching very carefully. But more than likely, the real reason is probably a number of people contacted them and said, why is it so thin? probably said something like we appreciate you uh, your interest in our products we take great interest in your input and we will you know consider it in the future going on you know whatever but then behind the scenes might have said well that didn't work out it is thin and people noticed <laughs> but I don't know I really don't know I'm not making a stance because I don't know if it's because it was in our minds or something changed 
But now this one seems to a great extent mostly like the 1050, 1050 I remember. Which did seem to have an ultra viscous mouthfeel. Now on this, well, but well, let's get off of that. But it is something to consider. I mean, when things change abruptly, you start to say, "What?" Like when the Samuel Adams Oktoberfest was tasting like a ham. No. Let's see. The Abita Christmas beer tasted like ham, glazed ham one year. Oh yeah, the Samuel Adams Oktoberfest tastes salty. Tastes it salty. I said, well, I know, I know they don't add salt. So what's what's up with this? And then that 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 inexplicably disappeared. <laughs> Samuel Adams Boston Lager tasted strange, like cornbread for a couple couple of years, 2012 to 2014. Schlitz beer, which we don't even see around here anymore, and probably some production issues. We see it occasionally, but that was tasting like an IPL, like in 2014, 20. The sun is warm. I'm glad I'm sitting in the sun. Um, sweetness level. Got my eyes closed because of the glare, but it's nice. It's warm. I said that. No, but the sweetness level is um, high. Not too high. Like, um, I guess five at four out of five sugar cubes. It's pretty sweet, but it's not overly sweet. Bitterness units, 65 IBU. Hmm. Seems a lot lower. I just said 35. But that's the funny thing about those numbers. They're technical numbers, and uh, a lot of times, many times, Oscar Blues has a big rant about it. How... Uh, I was looking at it just this morning. They were like, well, IBUs, they don't always translate into the actual bitterness. It's just a technical number. And, uh, uh, and uh, Bells does the same thing. And I, I believe that. I agree with that. And I'm in that camp. Because it's 65, but it's on the scale, but it's tasting like 35. So if you think this beer is real better and you don't want to try it, forget that. It's not. Two out of five uh, hot cone. Hop cone. Boom. Maybe I could say two and a half, but no, I say two out of five hop cones. And um, the body's medium now, not thin, like a porter. And um, the finish is mostly dry. This this is getting back to the old Oscar Blues tin fighty that I remember and loved and never could hardly find. <laughs> but true, truthfully, all all. Um, other talk aside, I have not seen Oscar Blues in this town <sighs> oh yeah I said Total Wine and More, I bought this at Mathern's I've seen some in this town like uh, this one for instance the Death by Coconut I gotta revisit that because we had one two years ago, it tasted like nothing like we didn't say it tasted bad, it had no taste you say, oh y'all had the Y'all had the uh, Kovic. Maybe. But I don't think that was it. Um, but I'm thinking about 10 years ago, Mathern's would have Oscar Blues. Dale's Pale Ale every day of the week. They had this, Can of Bliss later on. That this the other thing then it just started to fade 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 so we get the 10 fighting I bought that over there single the death by coconut bought that single but but, but, but for the most part you just don't see them and uh, same thing with rogue we'll get that guy out they'll stick it on the shelf few people are by most people ignore it but I remember 10 years ago 11 years ago It'd be a good 
foot and a half on the shelf. One bomber after another of rogue, 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 Shakespeare, rogue, honey, rogue this, rogue that, rogue the other thing, rogue the pumpkin, rogue, rogue, rogue. Now, ha ha, ha ha. Now why did they cut it? Good question. Um, I think I have a good answer, a good hypothesis. It's because the sales were starting to drop. And they track that and they say, oh, this stuff's not moving. But look at all these Louisiana local beers that are better. They're not better. It's just a Louisiana local beer. And uh, people be running behind that. And um, so I said this many times in Hangout videos that a lot of the really fantastic, um, like old stock ale from Anchor. Oh. Oh, old foghorn. Oh, don't see it anymore. And, and so far, got chased off the shelves by. I was going to say mediocre Louisiana craft beer. I'm not going to say that. I was going to say it, but I'm not going to. I just look. Just I'll say it like that. Louisiana craft beer beers. Okay. Now, how, how, how you uh, <coughs> um, appreciate those is up to you. I know how I do. I've, I've um, tackled many of them, not nearly enough, but um, I'm not an anti-Louisiana knight, Louisianaite. Since I'm here, I live here, common sense, I would be a homer, be promoting everything, but I do have to, uh, I, I like to try to um, look at the products objectively. It's funny, though, because with all the flood of craft beers in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky, Missouri, Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma, you know what I mean, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota, Iowa, and so forth. It's just like a lot of, and then you say, well, I don't know. That's not that really that good. But um, they, although they could be good, but um, it's kind of like. The good old days are dead and gone, but I, 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 I'm not trying to be negative or pessimistic. Uh, there, there is a place for the old classics, and I'm not a uh, fuddy-duddy that's hung up or uh, fixated on the old classics. I'm not, and, I'm, and I just finished discussing how this old classic seemed to have some uh, rather serious problems two years ago, but um, I'm just explaining why a lot of the Big time, Widmer Brothers, Red Hook, Shipyard, Harpoon, um, oh, Great Lakes, I, I could sit here for 30 minutes and name, have been pushed off the shelves because it's the local influx. All right. I'm, in, I'm not in a rush. I got uh, who knows how much time, but uh, sure, fine, it's great. I'll go buy five dozen Louisiana uh, local craft beers and review them. No problem. 95% of the viewers can't get them. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Sure, it's fine, wonderful. Do any of those match Red Hook uh, ESB? Some of them, can kind of compete, yes. Uh, what about Pugsley's 4X IPA from Shipyard? Probably they cannot compete with that. Um, they can't compete with that. Double old thumper. <laughs> Double old thumper. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they can compete. Yeah, 
Sure, great, yeah. Coney Island, human blockhead, barrel age. Yeah, mm -hmm. they can compete, yeah. Sure, it's great, everything's great, Havana's great. The beer world is great. How about I score this ultimately? I, I like it. And in fact, I really like it. I like the raisin. It's a, there's a strong raisin. Almost you could say prunes. I like to eat prunes. I'm not 70. But I like, yeah. <laughs> no, I like prunes. And um, I would eat them on their own merits, not for uh, certain biological reasons. <laughs> but um, it's a great product. Um, 2021 10 I don't see any reason why not why I should not give it a 96 out of 100 now you say 96 what is this American Idol is gone the Denver Broncos are no good the Detroit Pistons are uh, okay. Oasis. Mm. Amy Winehouse. Mm. All right. But still, it is it is most excellent. So 9.6 out of 10. Hey, well, if it wins, it wins. But that's what I say. But anyway, so Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay, a 9.6 out of 10 from the legendary at least at one time, Oscar Blues Brewery of America. I live in America. We're going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Texas or North Carolina or Colorado and visit to visit the Oscar Blues Canned Beer Brewery.